Yachtclub's 2014 retro-style platforming game was an instant hit among gamers. Hell, its fundraising campaign that was launched proved that people were invested in this title before it even came out. And what did we get? A well-designed and well-developed and super fun game that even had a main character that got so popular that Eagle Raptor ended up endorsing its amiibo release. Shovel Knight, how far you have come. But enough blind praise. What is it exactly that makes Shovel Knight such a great game? Welcome to TCB's Top 5 Reasons as to why Shovel Knight is an awesome adventure platformer and why you should play it. Number 5. Great and not obnoxious exploration. Hidden goodies are one of the best things in any game, especially when they're not absolutely necessary to progress forward, but reward you all the same. Shovel Knight's rewards aren't only well placed or fairly hidden, but when you do find them, you feel a genuine sense of gamer pride for trusting your sense of adventure and exploration and it enhances your experience of the game overall if you do choose to pursue them. These goodies come in the form of power-ups, weapon upgrades, and musical sheets, and are super fun to use and check out. Number 4. The Soundtrack Speaking of musical sheets, Jay Kaufman knocks it out of the ballpark once again. I can't emphasize how many of these tracks are just so damn catchy. There are times I have during the game where I'm just internally bopping along with the music because not only are all the tracks great on their own, but they fit so well with their respective levels or hub worlds. Propeller Knight's track just gets me every time. It's peaceful, yet upbeat. And that's just magic. Number 3. The Length of the Game I know, this is a weird one to make note of, but guys, let's be real. How many games have you played that are just way too short or overstay their welcome? To this day, I still feel like the original Sonic the Hedgehog could have used one or two more levels to top it off, or Mega Man 3 for, ugh, good gods, trying to extend game time by throwing those freaking Doc Robot levels at us, Jesus, what were they thinking? But Shovel Knight has just the right amount of hub worlds, main levels, and bonus areas. Each area is extremely well crafted and utilizes new means of progression, so nothing ever feels too gimmicky or, more importantly, reused. Even the mini-bosses on the world map or hub worlds makes for some great pacing and added laughs when you encounter them. The reason I can play Shovel Knight over and over again is because the playtime feels just right. There's never a point in the game where it feels like it's moving too quickly, or there's never a moment where I feel the need to stop and endlessly grind to move forward. Number 2. The Bosses Oh. My. God, are these guys filled with personality or what? When Damien, Sam, and I were playing the game for the channel, it was a blast giving each of these guys voices. Whether it was Damien's questionable Antonio Banderas impression for Shovel Knight? I stand beside the Black Knight. Oh, that's not Antonio Banderas enough. <laughs> I've quarreled with you. I must return to the Tower of Fight. I have no quarrel with you. Or my incredible interpretation of how Tinker Knight would sound IRL. Ah, did you make all that noise? I can't think straight. I have so much work to do. Why did you make him a nerd baby? Mad props to Sam for still giving me chills whenever I listen back to her take on the Enchantress. So, have you come to slay me, Knight? To avenge your beloved? Gaze into my eyes. See how fearful I am. Watch me cower as you draw your blade. But not only are they each brimming with original personalities, their individual boss fights are just so awesome! Tinker Knight literally drops a transformer on your sorry ass. Polar Knight taps into his inner Canadian spirit and tries to snowplow you to death. And Plague Knight tries to bestow the fucking plague on you! And that's just downright rude. Not to mention, the best damn way to justify a boss rush. Ever. Period. These bastards are enjoying a goddamn feast when Shovel Knight literally drops in to crash the party. And unlike the Mega Man games where you technically got to choose the order in which you reface the bosses, these guys are thrown at you in whichever order they damn well please, making each encounter feel a bit more fresh than the last. Fun fact, rescue these guys and talk to them while wearing the gold armor. The dialogue is hilarious. Number 1. The Story And speaking of great dialogue, the number one reason why Shovel Knight is a great game and you need to play it is because of the story. Seriously guys, this is the glue that holds it all together. When you start off the game, you're right away attached to Shovel Knight because of the loss of his true love. But as you progress through the game, you start to get more and more hints as to what really happened in the past until you finally piece everything together. After being exposed to classic platformer games like Mario or Sonic, where the plot is usually to foil the bad guy because they're bad and you're good and that's just the natural order of life, 
Shuffle Knight adds a bit more complexity and depth to the tired old tale, and not only adds a twist to the story, but makes you genuinely feel for these characters by the time you reach the end of the game. And that's about it! Shovel Knight honestly became one of my absolute favorite adventure platformers and just general games of all time. It encompassed everything that I loved about the old classic platformers of the past like Mega Man and Sonic and Mario and Castlevania and just encompassed it all into one really solid adventure. It looks great, it sounds great on both the 3DS and Wii U, uh, the, the consoles that I've played, it, it, it handles perfectly and seamlessly every time and I'm definitely going to be playing it uh, many more times to come. I really hope Yacht Club Games uh, releases a new title soon, but I'm also really looking forward to uh, their Plague Knight DLC, and yes, I definitely will be doing a playthrough of that to add to our already existing Shovel Knight commentary, which you can watch here. But until then, thank you everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed this little review, and until the next review and or let's play, arigato!